Hey guys, what's up? It's OG Cookie, and uh, I'm finally making commentaries again. Uh, sorry for not making commentaries the past two weeks. It's just that uh, I've been grounded and I haven't had my games because my dad took them. And, um, and uh, yeah, it's been pretty bad. And I finally got them back. And uh, I was going to make one last week, but uh, I got pneumonia. And uh, it's been pretty bad. And uh, I think this is the start of my Moab streak. And I really love this Moab because, um, well, I just got it last night. And uh, I was playing by myself with a bunch of randoms. And the entire other team was a clan. So uh, I was thinking, like, right before the game started, I was like, oh, if I get a Moab on, on this clan, I'll just be so happy. And uh, right off the bat, they triple capped us. And, um, like, we ended up losing horribly. Like, I mean, I got the Moab. And uh, it was it was pretty cool. Yeah, but uh, the bad thing is, we still lost horribly. I think the final score was 200 to 92. So it was pretty bad. And, um, but, I mean, even though you lose horribly, if you still get the Moab, then... I mean, if I still get the ball up, then I'm pretty happy. I mean, I was disappointed that we lost, but the fact that I mow up the clan was still pretty cool to me. And I know we were going to lose because we were triple capped for most of the game. And, I mean, we didn't even break 100. How did we not do that if I was sitting there, like, killing all these people, getting them off of flags and everything? And I actually, I think I stay in this building for most of the game. I see that Predator missile, and I know that uh, it can't see me, but I still don't want to chance it. But, um, if my voice sounds a little raspy, it's because the pneumonia has made me cough for so much. I've been coughing for literally two weeks straight, and I still haven't stopped. I'm surprised I'm not coughing right now. But, uh, it's been pretty bad. And, um, oh, i got to tell you something. Uh, this happened to me a couple weeks ago, but to make a commentary about it. But, uh, I couldn't. But, um, I was driving, and, um, I don't have my license yet, I'm a restricted license, which means as soon as I turn 16, I can drive by myself. But, uh, this cop was about two cars behind me, and he turned on his sirens, and I was like, okay, well, he just probably has to go to an emergency or something. So he turns them on, and he, and, uh, those two cars pull over, and I'm about to pull over, and he just goes right behind me, and... He stops right behind me with his lights still on. I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh, and my phone just uh, vibrated because I got a text message. My bad about that. But um, anyways, uh, I was sitting there and uh, I was like, oh my gosh, he's going to give me a ticket. Then he turns his lights off and I'm like, whew, just about had a heart attack there. I thought I was going to get a ticket. And then my mom was like, why would you get a ticket? You're going the speed limit. You're on the road and everything. And I was like, oh, I don't know. They give us tickets for stupid stuff all the time. And, um, anyways, and, uh, right when I said that, he turned his lights back on, and they're like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get a ticket now. So I pull over, like, right on the, uh, right into a driveway right next to me, and, um, he just goes past me. He was abusing his siren, like a lot of cops do. And I was like, really? I just pulled into this driveway and had a heart attack for nothing. It's retarded. It's just... When cops do that, I mean... It just aggravates me so much. I mean, especially when they, like, scare the crap out of you like that. I mean, that cop trolled me without even knowing. And, um... I mean, afterwards I laughed it off and everything. But the fact that I thought that I was about to get a ticket just scared me to death. But, um, anyways. Oh, yeah, we had a talent show, like, last week at school or something like that. I don't know if it was last week. It might have been too. This is a long time ago. I got notes from a long time ago about it. But um, anyways, all of the, all of the people that were doing a talent or whatever, were singing except for like two people, and those two people were dancing, or I mean those two acts, and um, one of the dancing acts was really good. The other was a bunch of fat girls who thought they could dance, and um, I actually got my ticket for free. Like they were uh. They were three dollars. Oh, and uh, one of my friends just told me to invite when I'm done, but I can't because I have to get off. But anyways, I got a free ticket because all right, they are three dollars. So uh, I went over to the place where you had to buy a ticket, and it was a student that was selling them. So I was like, okay, well, um, oh, I just about die right here. Hold on. 
See, like, that guy's shooting at me, so I just, just decided to... No, it's later, but anyways, dang, I'm getting sidetracked. But, uh, anyways, so, uh, I walk over there to go buy my ticket. I have a $10 bill, and I give it to her. So, $3, right? It's 10 minus 3 is 7, so I sort of get $7 for change, right? No, here's what happens. She gives me a 5 back, and I'm like, okay. And then she gives me some 1s back, and I'm like, okay, well, uh, there's my $7. So I start walking back, and I start counting my money to make sure she gives me seven. And I count to five, then I count six, seven, and then the ones keep going. It's eight, nine, ten. And I'm like, wow, really? She just gave me ten dollars back in change when I paid ten dollars for a three dollar ticket. And I was like, I should probably go give her some some money back because uh, she gave me too much. And then I was like, wait, if you mess up that bad and give me the same amount of money that I gave you. You don't deserve to get it back. No. So, I just walked off and got my ticket for free. So, uh, I thought that was pretty cool. And, uh, I see the game starting to get a little closer to ending, so I'm going to start pushing up and everything. And, uh, I found out that, um, I do better when, uh, like, if I'm playing solo, if I run around the map, oh, and this guy just about gets me. Thank goodness my teammate took him. But, um, I found out that, uh, if I'm playing solo, uh, it, it, I do better if I run around the map, and uh, that's what I'm doing in this one and in my other Moab that I get uh, on Village. It's my fi I finally got my first Moab on Village. Surprised about that. Oh, and uh, as you can see, I'm using the Scar instead of the ACR this time. And I'm um, hold on. <coughs> Sorry, my bad. Pneumonia. But um, anyways, so I'm using the Scar with the silencer. And uh, I really love this gun. And I finally get the model right there. And I'm like, yes! But the thing that surprised me is, uh, like, I saw that I had, uh, like, 24 kills. and But uh, I thought I already got a couple kills before that. So I wasn't expecting to have the model already. But I uh, finally get it right there. And then, um, as you can see, the score is 175 to 76. So uh, it's pretty bad. I know we're going to lose. I'm like, come on, teammates. At least get 100. But now if we don't, we get like 92, which uh, is completely retarded. And um, it just sucks so bad the way that you can go and do really good and then your team doesn't pull through for you and get the win. But, I mean, it's okay. Still got the mob on these kids. And it's pretty funny because after the game, like uh, while the kill camps are going on, like uh, at this point I didn't even care if I died, so I just kept running around. But, um... Like, two of, the ki uh, two of the people in the clan, they were like, Oh, uh, forget you. No, that's not fair. No, you got a mob? Man, you're retarded. You're hacking. Blah, blah, blah. And then one or two other people were like, Oh, good job getting the mob. I'm surprised you got it. And I was like, Oh, yeah, thanks. So, uh, I, get them, I get them pretty often now. Well, not pretty often. I have 13, but still. And um, anyways, game's about to end. And then um, the leader of the clan... He was like, oh, forget you, I'm leaving. And then, like, right when they get back to the lobby, they all back out. It's hilarious. I was just like, yeah, get out of here. You don't deserve to be with me. And it's so funny, because, uh, like, half the claim was a bunch of little kids. But, um, you can tell that they're a bunch of kids, because look down at the bottom left. They all say chaos. And, uh, they sucked pretty bad. <laughs> look at that, 9 and 25 down at the bottom. And I went 28 and 5. Man, what's wrong with them? And my team sucked pretty bad too. And ironically, two people on my team, their clan tag is Moab. But, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, I will see you again next time. Bye.